In this video, I'll show you how to make this witness protection effect like this. And this type of effect is mainly used that if you want to hide any particular information like uh, somebody's name or a number plate of a car. So I have used here Hitfilm Express. Let's see what happens. So here we are on Hitfilm Express. So this is our footage. First of all, let's remove our audio from the footage. And here I'm not going to take the entire video clips. So from here I'm going to cut. And from this portion, I'm going to make the composite shot. So this is our composite shot. So before going to make this effect, first of all, we have to track this face. So let's do it. Open the tracker. And here I'm going to bring my tracking position up to here. And just hit the track so you can see our tracking is going on properly now before going to apply the tracking let's make a point layer and here you just choose the point layer and hit the apply So now you can see our point is probably tracking the tracking point. Now let's make the effect. So for that purpose you just need to search an effect called witness protection and just apply in the footage. So you can see here there are so many parameters you can play with all this like its size, a softness and many more. I think pixelated is perfect. So here our job is not done because this pixelated effect should also track the face. So to do that you have to change the layer to point layer. So this is the point which we already applied the tracking data. So now you can see this is just one way. So I am going to show you a different way how to do this witness protection effect. So I am going to remove this witness protection effect here. And let's make a grade layer. And over this grade layer, I'm going to apply, I'm going to use the blur effect. You can see here, blur effect is applied. And from here, I'm going to uh, change the radius so that uh, you can manipulate the blurness effect. So, and then we're going to mask this. You can play with your feathering length. So here also you need to make it parent to the point layer because this point layer is tracking the face. So as you can see, and the blurness is also tracking the face. So it needs to be improved a little bit. So that's it. It's a very simple. You can try this. Let me know in the comments. Please like the video, share it, leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video.